Hello pupils, I'm Miss Anushka Oudian and today with Enoan and Ava, we're going to investigate Perimeter. Oh, poor Ava. Her dog is wandering everywhere, even disturbing the neighborhood around. How can we help her? Ah, I guess she has to fence her garden. Yes, but how much wire fences will be needed to enclose the yard? I really don't know. Oh, sir, Miss Anuska, let us help Ava. It's all about perimeter. Yeah, you're right, anyone. Perimeter? What is perimeter? Come on, we will explain everything to you. Okay, no one. In fact, perimeter is the total length or distance all around a flat surface. Of course, anyone. Lots of flat shapes have perimeters. Here is a square. And here is the perimeter of the square. Another example, a hand. You can even trick out the perimeter of the hand, pupils. Here is a perimeter of the hand. Another example can be the star. And on your right, you will find the perimeter of the star. Okay, but how to calculate perimeter? Okay, we will show you how to calculate the perimeter of this rectangular tablet. Good idea. So listen, Ava. This rectangular tablet is 14 cm long and 9 cm wide Calculate its perimeter. Don't forget pupils. Perimeter is the total length or distance all around a flat surface. So the perimeter of the tablet is equal to 9 centimeters plus 14 centimeters but remember in a rectangle the opposite sides are equal in length yes you're right in a one the same applies to 14 centimeters so Ava, we continue adding the other two sides so plus 9 centimeters plus 14 centimeters and the perimeter will be 46 centimeters now let us calculate the perimeter of a square suppose a square is 5 centimeters long calculate its perimeter Remember, a square has four equal sides. Yes, Sava. Anyone is right. A square has four equal sides.
So the perimeter of the square will be 5 centimeters plus 5 centimeters plus 5 centimeters plus 5 centimeters, which is equal to 20 centimeters. Ain't no one. Is there another way of finding perimeter for this square? There is another way of finding the perimeter of a square. I'm going to show you now. Remember, a square has four equal sides. So, if you take the length of one side of a square and you multiply by four as it has four equal sides, you obtain the perimeter which is 20 centimeters. Good job! It's the same answer. Now, Ava, anyone is going to explain to you how to calculate the perimeter of an equilateral triangle. Suppose the side AD of this equilateral triangle is 7 centimeters. Calculate its perimeter. Remember, an equilateral triangle has three equal sides. In this case, you take the length of one side and you multiply by three as an equilateral triangle has three equal sides. You will finally get the perimeter, which is 21 centimeters here. So, Ava, as you can see, for a square, you take length of one side times four. For an equilateral triangle, length of one side times three. By the way, you should not multiply by three for every triangle. Multiplying by three applies only to equilateral triangle. Yes, you're right, Dana One. For scaling triangles, we have to add each side to find the perimeter as they are of different length. The perimeter of this scaling triangle here is equal to 10 cm plus 7 cm plus 5 cm, which is equal to 22 cm. Let's see if you can do this one, Ava. Observe the yellow triangular cell A and Calculate its perimeter. Okay, you may now start to calculate its perimeter. To all those watching this video, you can also help Ava to solve this problem. Don't forget pupils, perimeter is a total length or distance all around a flat surface. So the perimeter of the sail is 13 cm plus 7 cm plus 10 cm, which is equal to 30 cm. I'm sure you got the same answer as Ava. So it's misunderstanding in the one. How I know? If the length of one side of my square yard is 3 meters, then its perimeter will be 3 meters times 4, which is equal to 12 meters. Thanks, Miss Anushka and anyone. You're welcome, Ava. Video prepared by.